Hey guys, this is ZG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to work with constraints in Blender. So, before I get started, please comment and rate this video, subscribe to my page, add me as a friend, and check out my blog at cganimator.blogspot.com and keep watching tutorials. So, let's get started. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to this tab right here, and as you can see, there's add constraints right here. So, there's a bunch of stuff here, and I'm going to display them all. So child of, you can make um, this a child of another object, which is pretty much like parenting. It's ac actually exactly like parenting, but you can use certain channels and make it only on the x-axis or on the, you know, it's just a bunch of stuff. You can only have the scale the same on the z-axis or the rotation the same on the z-axis or the location on the y-axis. You can do all that stuff and change the influence so you get a little bit more control here but it's a little more convenient the other way so transformation you can trans uh, have a um, object make the this object transform like if I would have a, another cube here this is cube 0 .001. I add a transformation here and I add cube then you know as you, it's parented by that little line right there and you can change certain transformations with this but you know it's not really necessary right now I'm just explaining it copy location does exactly what it does it copies the location of the object that you type in here so that's simple Ro copy rotation copy scale you know same thing you can change the influence of how much you want the influence to be uh, you can limit the location it can only go like let's say I put uh, the minimum is 1 1 1 and the max is 5 5 5 and you can only move it out so far okay now limit rotation limit scale and limit distance is the same thing track oh sorry track 2 Let's say I want this to track to the camera. Type in camera. And now if you move the camera, it follows the camera. And this is cool when you work with eyes. You can make eyes track to the camera, so it's always looking to the camera. And certain things like that. Floor, this is a cool thing. Let's say I add a plane. Scale that up. Move that down. And I want a certain object to react to the floor. Just type in plane and check it out. You can only go so far down. And it, I think, I don't know, maybe if we put on bounds, it changes. No. So it matters on where the center of gravity is. And right now it's in the middle. So if that's GZ1, it's at the bottom. Just tab, go down, and you can only go down to where the center of gravity is. So, you know, only can do so much there. So I'm just gonna delete this plane right here, fix this here. Okay. So I'll delete that there. Floor, there's follow track and follow path, and all there's uh, all this different stuff. But a really cool one for the game engine is rigid body joint. And I'll show you exactly what that does. So first you gotta follow what I do. So you wanna take this cube, press shift D, hold uh, press X to go on the X axis, and press control. I'm actually I'm actually gonna turn this first one red. And because this is a copy of it, it turns red too. So press shift D X again, hold control, shift D X. X, hold control, move it over here. Okay. So now you have four cubes. This is cube.001. You can check the name right here. So, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, a joint. This one be jointed to this one, this one, this one, this one, to this one, and like that. So, you want to press this, the second one here. I can straight, rigid body joint. All is fine. To object, to the first object, which is Q. We're going to copy that. Control C. 
we're gonna press show pivot and there's that little thing right there you see so we're gonna change that have it move along the x-axis right there so it's like that along right here you want to press this one active string rigid body joint to object cube dot oh one and it's probably right there yes it is so go minus two x for each one do the same with the body joint cube dot oh two and that means this one is connected to this one this one is to this one yeah like that okay so now if we press off a nothing happens but now we turn these three here rigid bodies we press P then they react and there's a little joint there that they react to let me fix the lighting for you so you can see it better P and check it out it's cool right and like my recording game physics um, tutorial you can do the same thing here sorry press P like that press all day and it does the same thing you know you can record it now if you want the frame rate to go up you just go here and turn the FPS which is frames uh, per second up I'm gonna turn it to about 60 press all day turns up another thing you can do is shift right click all of these Turn this to um, action editor. Now press add new. And there's all these little dots. So press A. Make sure these are all selected. That they're golden. S point two or something like that. So A goes faster. You know, but you know you you have to do that each one individually. But uh, that's pretty much it. So that's this tutorial about constraints. Keep watching tutorials and um, check out my blog at cdanimator.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.